What's up with it? What's up with it, man? It's the Bronco with the Frog coming at you with another reaction video. We got top 10 worst fighter reactions after losing a fight, bro. I know this finna be crazy, man. Let's see what goes on. Old school footage. Wilson's getting the worst of it. Oh, snap. Is that somebody mama? Is that somebody mama? Bro, somebody mama came in the ring. That's wow. She said, get off my baby. This video that you Get are off watching my baby. Fighter, whose mother jumped into the ring and started beating her son's opponent. That's wow, bro. wasn't doing its job and was losing the fight. That's a mama, though. That's a mama. Than actually getting knocked out. People throwing stuff if in the ring. Video, please get a like and subscribe down below. I'll also, be mad as hell if my mama jumped in the ring trying to... Get right into it. <laughs> That's wow. Ah, the Deontay Wilder, man. In the fight between AJ Agarlam oh, and... Oh, I thought that was about to do Deontay Wilder. Earlier this month, AJ acted like a giant child after the fight. Lencioni. You don't want to shake his hands, bro? Man, <laughs> Look at dude, he's saying, <laughs> Mark it. Dude really don't want to shake his hand. The fight was scored as 30-27, Damn, I would have been salty if I would have lost like that too. Meaning that this fight was not hard to score at all. He got his fist pumped like he won or something. There was some bad blood between him and Chris, so this might contribute to this reaction. But still, oh, if they got bad blood, then hey, I would only do I would only do that if I had bad blood with the opponent and it was a split decision loss, like on some I got robbed on some stuff. I, bro, I don't shake your hand for, bro. I just got robbed. Because you're acting like I'm finna go to the police, man. AJ also headbutted his opponent at one point during the fight, which shows that he is just a Them head but it's hurt, fighter. bro. He Look at his head, bro. Muscle head at him. Continue both him and Chris, but this is the only judge that gave him a round. <laughs> <laughs> Why he using my boy Deontay for all the pictures, Leonard man? Leonard Shoney has a Georgian boxer who in 2018 fought against Spaz Genov, and he lost the fight via decision, and he did not take it very well. <laughs> ah, he trying to fight again? He said, man, what's up? <laughs> wanted to continue fighting with his opponent by challenging him to go for another round. And again, I've seen very willing to keep going. I want to see that happen. I want to see somebody man, fight after the bell. Lost his mind. Oh, he's swinging at the trainer. Damn. Ah, the trainer tried to slap his head. That was his trainer trying to calm him down, but Shonia was not taking He's swinging on his he own trainer, bro. He landed a shot, but the trainer showed great moves as he avoided most of the power, but still lost his balance a bit. Then he swung at him again. This time, the coach avoided the punch altogether. And then he tried to slap his ass. <laughs> I don't know why he's so mad. His record stood at 15 and 12 after this fight. Damn, 15 and 12? Yeah, you ain't got no right. You should have you should have expected that. You ain't got no right to get mad. You know, lost 12 fights. So Alistair Overeem is a great fighter who has had... Alistair, I remember when he so made... faced up against Stipe Miocic back into the... Oh, Stipe season, beat his ass? He lost the fight after getting knocked out. I mean, there's no shame in losing to Stipe. He is considered the greatest heavyweight of all time in the UFC. Yep, but after Overeem knocking DC. After well, fight. he ain't... The last... I punched him, but he went down. I followed him. I got him in a good joke. And I cleared himself a tap. Oh, I seen this on Twitter. It did from the angle that I saw. It did look like Stipe tapped out. It did look like Stipe tapped out. I ain't gonna lie. Where exactly he felt the tap? Not once, but twice. Which just ends up embarrassing over him in front of the whole crowd when there was no tap to be seen anywhere. Nah, that's not the angle. Which is a good accomplishment, and he tried to finish him off. I know it. I know what angle he's talking about though. Something up that can be so clearly disproven. Just take your loss and go. I remember this. Where do you see the tap? Is already a cheater, TJ, and a bro, I ain't gonna lie. After he lost to Henry Cejudo, but his last fight, that ought to be the most flukiest fight I have ever seen. Did not take his loss with any sort of I swear, Henry Cejudo's all last three against uh, uh, they all was iffy as hell, bro. Against TJ, against uh, who else was the last two? The recent dude he fought Dominique Cruz, and it was somebody else. They was all iffy was against, bro. Like 
Look at this. Why would you stop that fight, bro? Dillashaw did not want to admit that he had lost the fight via knockout, even though he got hurt like three times straight. So you still don't stop that fight, bro. You don't stop that. For the damage. That guy did you a favor, and you get angry at him? Nah, I dis I disagree, bro. I understand your need to compete. The fight, at least in my eyes, was over. I disagree, bro. It was a bad stoppage. Jose Uskategi faced off against Andre Durrell for the first time back in 2017. And this fight had a controversial ending for two reasons. Durrell was all about Durrell's jab. He along the road. Damn, come on, this is a hit after the bell. The first Uskategi threw a three punch combination toward the end of the round, with the last punch landing after the bell. Durrell wasn't able to continue after this punch as he got knocked out. The referee waved off the fight and ruled that the punch was intentional. Thus, Uskategi was disqualified. Yeah, that's what I'm about to say. You got to disqualify, bro. The bell, but I think it was clearly an accident since he was already moving when the bell rang. The fighters made up with both of them showing great respect for each other. But fighters, let me tell you. Oh, I remember this. Booyah! Oh, my God. Yeah, you got to go back and get that Duka. Took this offense personally, and this is actually the winner side acting like an idiot. Obviously, Bro, this is an assault. Stuck him clean. Was also Darrell's assistant trainer, sucker punch Oscar Tagi for no apparent reason. Bro, you if gotta. He was awarded the win. They both showed respect for each other. Why would he do this? He was arrested and was banned from ever. Bro, you have to go to the locker room, get your duffel bag, get that thuka out, and get the spray in the goddamn ring, bro. Earlier this year in May. Marlon Chito Vera faced off against Sean Chito Vera, that's the dude who just whooped Sean O'Malley. That turned Cry out to be about really it. hard to judge. Not just for the judges, but the fans, writers, and other experts who were split on who actually won. Although Vera thought that he won the fight easily, and he showed it at the end of the fight. Ah, that's why you can't leave it to the judges, bro. Here with the winner. <laughs> you see, bro, he said felt so sure that you got robbed in such a close fight. Your opponent is not responsible for the judges' scorecards. I ain't gonna lie, bro. I'm a sore loser. Like you. So if I lost like that, I don't, bro, I ain't gonna dap you up, bro. Also, I would have been pretty mad too if I celebrated early before the results were even said out loud. And then I looked like an idiot when I actually lost the fight. I don't like this commentator, bro. I wanna fight this guy. I wanna fight the commentator, bro. I don't know why. I just I just don't like the way he commentates. He beat him on some Mike. On some Mike Tyson shit. Bro, if you bite me in. He then got angry after the fight was stopped for obvious reasons. Then his opponent's trainer, Alexander Petkovic, got into the ring and went to tell him off. Clementa did the unthinkable. Doesn't he not Petkovic? Ah, he stuck him. Stick him, stick him, hit him, hit him. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, hit him again. Hit his ass. So when he reacted with a left hook, he hurt Clementa. It staggered him badly. Clementa then walked away and looked kind of scared. To if that was me, I ought to. Make, make, make. I ought to do more than one hit. looked like he was going to throw a right cross, but changed it up and snuck in that left. Slug him. <laughs> Smooth. <laughs> James Butler is a pretty horrible person as he actually killed somebody a few years after this event. Damn. He had a boxing fight against Richard Grant in 2001 where he lost the fight via unanimous decision. But yeah, if you and bite my ear, bro, I'm going to the locker room getting that thuk out. So Butler's number eight ranking is going to take a hit. Richard Grant in the mild upset, a unanimous decision victory. Damn. Damn! That was a power punch. There was no holding back, and he wasn't even wearing gloves. Damn! What kind of is this guy? Well, based on the fact that he killed Sam Kellerman, who was Max Kellerman's brother, he is a pretty bad person. Swear to God! I can't believe he allowed this guy to fight again. He actually fought again two and a half years later, which is bro. Hard. I ain't know Max had a brother, and then his brother got killed. That's sad. I'm gonna have to look this the up. Saddest reaction in UFC history. This was the second fight between Daniel Cormier and Daniel John Cormier John started crying. <laughs> and that man started crying, around. bro. Here we go. Chicken legs. Chicken legs. Yeah, he went out. 
Mm, look at his head just turning like that. Cormier was full of emotions after the fight, and he even walked out of the ring after the results were read out loud. That man John Jones going to heavyweight. Ooh, let's see. <laughs> Ah, Daniel Cormier. I thought the fight was going well. I don't even know what happened. This is just a highly disappointed guy who was very Daniel Cormier, bro. And lost concentration for just one second. And that was enough for him to lose. How could he not be this emotional? That, bro, that is the most hysterical phase ever, bro. People telling him that once Jones comes back, he's going to lose the title. And DC a good guy, though. That has to suck. Later, Besides, aside from the oppos, he's a good guy. Contest as Jones was caught using steroids. Back in 2012 at UFC 113, Paul Daly was fighting against Josh Koscheck, and he lost his fight via decision. Josh, I forgot all about Josh Koscheck. Entire fight, and they had a conversation where they were on the floor, and this was the result. Yes, yeah, I'm like, bro, if we on the face off, you trying to get close, bro, get off of me. Oh, I remember this. Why is this number one though? That he was going to punch him after the fight once he was able to get up. And he claimed that he's a man of his word, so he went ahead and did it. That has to be the stupidest reason ever. Why is this number one after though? the fight is over? After you got your ass kicked. Also, he was kicked out of the UFC for the Hey, he told him he was gonna hit him after he got up. That's what he did. People for getting manhandled by the ref like Daly just did, because it makes them look kind of weak, to be honest. Do you think that there's any reason that you shouldn't show good sportsmanship after a loss? Unless the other guy is fighting really dirty or cheating. I don't know. Why is this number one though? Like, you lost legitimately, the one where the boxer stuck on his way. So you should still show respect for them. Thanks for watching this video. Hey, that was a cool little video, man. I don't see why that was number one. But dude, really, the one before that, the dude who killed Max Kellerman, brother, he really like stuck his ass after the fight with no glove. He, mm, that shit crazy. Like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what you're reacting next. I'm out.